lots of little things can go wrong in the green side bunker. But what I find to happen most commonly in the bunker in a bad way, that is a failure to accelerate your club head through the sand and finish facing that target. Now I understand why. I'm asking you to take a full swing. I'm asking you to accelerate through the sand. I'm asking you to finish facing that target, yet our target's only a few feet away from us. So mentally that's challenging. So what I see in most bunker lessons is a pretty good backswing, but when they get down here, their brain says, uh-oh, and they stop. And of course the ball winds up right here. There's three reasons why you have to accelerate in the sand. Number one, we open our club face quite a bit. That takes distance off of our shot. Number two, we hit two to three inches behind a ball. That also depletes some of the distance. And number three, I'm gonna ask you to drag that club or swing that club through the sand about eight inches past the ball. That's another factor that takes away your distance. So that's why you have to accelerate. If you wanna hit a high and soft bunker shot, you must accelerate and you must turn and face that target. Make sense, guys? So when I'm giving a bunker lesson, I like to apply what I call my 2-8 rule. I believe my students can remember numbers easier than words. So the 2-8 rule is simple. That means I'm going to land this club into the sand about two inches behind the golf ball. That's the two. Then I want the club to go through the sand and come out about eight inches past the golf ball. That's the eight. So 2-8. I know if you get your club eight inches past the golf ball, the only way that can happen is if you accelerate. And that's, that's today's lesson. Sound like a plan, fellas? Yeah. All right, well, before we get to our foot joy contest, and that's going to be very exciting, I'd love for Mario Vicari to come in here. Mario, come on and help me out today. How about a nice applause for Mario? Yeah. All right, Mario, so I want you to come in here next to your golf ball. I want you to open that club face and then apply your grip. That's it, that's perfect, good. And we're going to play the ball forward in your stance. So as long as that ball is up in this range, that looks pretty good already. Good. Now I'm going to ask you to bump a little weight into your front hip with your lower body. Okay. I'm going to keep your upper body back about right here. That's where we want to land. Okay. okay? So your setup looks pretty good. There's your pin. You want to take a look at where you want to land it. Yep. All right. Now I want you to apply the 2-8 rule, meaning you're going to look at a spot here, try to hit two inches behind it, and then try to accelerate so your club comes out over here somewhere. Okay, okay, sound good? I'm Sounds gonna good. step back with this wonderful Lumberman Associates team. When you're ready, let's see if we can pop up on the green. Oh, look at a shot, everybody. That is a beautiful bunker shot. Acceleration and a great finish. Well done, I hope you learned a lot today. I did, Doug, thanks for the tip. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf Professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to Doug at rdhgolf.com.